I'm not sure how I ended up in the in the historical narrative for the Gilmore Girls. It's it's like it is such a blur to me, and somehow my name got attached to being the original dean, but I don't think I was. Gilmore Girls was, I mean, literally for me, it was an audition like any other day. I get in the elevator and it's full of people skewering actors. And I'm sitting there and I'm just like, oh my God, this is harsh. Doors open, got out, they got out too. We all got out on the same floor. I went, signed in, waited, walk into the room 20 minutes later and it's the, it's all those same people. And I was just, my blood went kind of cold. So when I got the call that I, that I had booked that pilot, I was like, I was kind of shocked. This all happened overnight. Literally, I was like, I'm gonna be an actor. And this just all happened so fast that it was like, it made my head spin. Gilmore Girls was my first experience on set, ever, professionally. I didn't know how a set worked. So I kind of just like went through this like car wash machine and like kind of walked out on set, just like kind of like a deer in headlights. I remember feeling very uncomfortable in my own skin because I was like, this isn't, I, I don't comb my hair like this. I don't, I didn't do this when I auditioned. I don't know what's going on. It was you kind of like an afterthought for everybody else. I remember shooting a scene where I think Alexis was supposed to drop her books. And I feel like we shot that one scene like 45 times so they could get the books to fall the right way. I met her on the day, I met her when I got there. I think she seemed as unhinged as, as I did, kind of. And that poor girl had to shoot the same pilot three times. Rosemary's baby. Yeah. It's a great movie. You got good taste. I'm Dean. Hi. I feel like they put me in an oversized, like, garage jacket, like a workshop kind of jacket. I remember being like, why am I wearing this? And more so, why is my hair comb like this? I got a letter of, of congratulations from Warner Brothers. The show's been picked up. Uh, we're gonna be moving you to California. And I was like, I was surprised because I actually thought that I was gonna get recast. And then the very next day, I got a letter that was like, so unfortunately, you're being recast. And I was like, okay, why'd you send me the first letter? I don't care. <laughs> I was not the very first team. They had had somebody already and they had reshot. I was a reshoot. And then I guess that they reshot for Jared. Make a noise. Rosemary's baby. Yeah. Well, that's a great movie. He made a way better Dean than, than I ever would have. I, I wished I could have been that dude, but I just, I've never been that dude. You know, I know the show went on to become a big hit. I've actually never seen it. Um, but my whole Gilmore Girls experience is framed by the Anakin Skywalker experience. I was meeting with George Lucas. I was actually at Skywalker Ranch having just walked out of a meeting with George Lucas. And they were like, hey, you have a phone call. And it was, oh, you book Gilmore Girls. I'm just like, what is going on? I didn't even remember what it was. All I was thinking about was if I'm gonna do this Star Wars thing. And it was, you know, the movies hadn't come out, they hadn't been bad, no one, it was just this like, the most sought after role in like 20 years. The thing that no one prepares you for is it was a massive relief to me when I didn't do it. And then immediately when the role got cast, it became this like growing friction of like, what did I do? Oh my gosh, what did I do? What did I do? I mean, I even wrote George a letter um, after it had been cast, and I was like, you know, I really feel like this should have been me. <laughs> I wish I had, I, I didn't, you know, I, I think I made a mistake in my, my thinking at the time was, well, okay, I don't want to do Star Wars because this is, it's too big. I don't know what this show is, but it's, a, you know, it's, a, it's like a, it's like a, a Warner Brothers teen soap kind of, and I don't really want to do that. I'll just find something nice in the middle. Cut to five years later, like, I can't get a job. <laughs> It's funny, like, the whole saying of be careful what you wish for, and I just didn't know enough to know to appreciate the opportunity. But that's a really crazy experience because you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't, just for being in the situation. And no one prepares you for that.